Tarot. Welcome to Alexander Tarot. This is going to be a bonus love reading to see who's coming towards you in love. This is for, for um, Libra and for those who have Libra anywhere in their natal chart. Libra placements. Okay. Time is fluid. Anytime that you press play is the time for you to receive the messages. Guys, if you see me, say, hey, Kim, I see you. Drop a hand wave an emoji because my my, ch my channel is being shadow banned due to a copy, a temporary copyright infringement. Okay. When I used to, I said this in past videos, when I was posting those um, motivational video messages in my YouTube shorts a while back. Um, I was plugging the content creator. I didn't take, I did not take, um, ownership of the content creators videos. I would actually plug in their information and repost the videos and not realizing that that's not allowed on YouTube. So lesson learned that you cannot repost any information, even if you tag the content creators information in the post. So, um, but I was posting these videos just to uplift you guys in my shorts. But anyway, because of that, now there's a shadow ban, meaning my videos not circulating as they were temporarily due to the algorithm. So just let me know you guys are still with me. Say, hey, Kim. Okay. <laughs> um, even if it doesn't resonate. If it does resonate and you're interested in a personal reading, I am in, uh, offering those as well now. You can click on the link in the description box below. I'm sorry. I'm fumbling over my words. It's like my... My mouth is moving quicker than the thoughts are coming out. I just had coffee. Maybe that's why. <laughs> All right. So anyway, I'm going to start this reading off by pulling some signifiers as to what this reading will entail um, in regards to who's coming towards Libra in love. Okay. Show me what Libra needs to see. Okay. Okay, move. That's the overall energy of this reading. Move. You need to move towards something, okay? And it's obviously connected to love, all right? So I have daydreams and decisions. Somebody's in their head about something. But spirit is like, you need to release that mindset. Get out of your head. Make a decision and just release the, the energy of indecision, okay? Somebody needs to release indecision. Trust. Okay, have faith is crowned by rest and reconsidering. Okay, so in order for someone to have faith here, they're going to have to sit with their feelings, process them, release them. That's where rest and reconsider is. Just, just sit with yourself, okay, and have trust that things will work out because that's what's blocking you from manifesting something new. You need to process your feelings and release them. You or your person confront in darkest fears. Someone needs to face what it is, okay? They need to face their darkest fears. They need to just go head on. There's an, there's an energy of avoidance I'm getting. Um, I'm not sure who it is coming from yet, but someone's avoiding something that they need to face. It's just like, even like, if it's the worst thing that could possibly happen, you need to acknowledge that, face it, and say, okay, this has happened. Now what? Okay, so I'm going to put this over here to the side, and we're going to go into the tarot to see what messages the divine has. Who's coming towards Libra in love? I've already pre-shuffled your deck, Libra, but we're going to do this again. Show me who's coming towards Leo in love. I mean, wow, you could be connecting with the Leo. Who's coming towards Libra in love? Who's coming towards Libra? Okay. Wow. I, I mean, the cards never lie. I love how in sync I am with spirit guides. I love it. There's someone that's, that you feel... You feel stuck. And that's why I got this, you know, in your head about something that you need to release, the mindset of indecision. Because the two of wands is about needing to make a decision. Okay? Two different paths. And with the page of wands reversed, there's someone here who's very impetuous. This is a very insensitive person that breaks your heart. Okay? Um, with the sun, Leo energy, I said that you could be connecting with a Leo. 
it's like there's a need for you t to be optimistic all right to allow yourself to be transparent to be confident stay optimistic and positive that's where your success is but the, your success is being crowned by the hangman feeling stuck it's like you're waiting for something to happen instead of making a, des a decision there's a lack of direction there's a needing for release there's a need for release. That's why there's daydreaming and decisions crowned by a release. Okay? Wow. Jumped right into it. Show me more. Five of pentacles reversed. Yeah. There's a, there's a need for you to be very self-aware that it's time for you, for your faith to be restored. To push through adversities. Because the star is here. That's about manifestation. Okay, healing, being positive. It's like you have to change your mindset. If you change your mindset, Libra, you will have what you want. Six of Cups is here. Show me why the Six of Cups is here. Why is the Six of Cups here? Show me why the Seven of Pentacles is here. Okay, I'm getting two different energies. With the Six of Cups, I'm getting energy of someone someone that you have a history with. A lot of... There's someone that you have a lot of history with. This is not two energies. There's someone that you have a lot of history with. They're looking at your pictures and, you know, there's just somebody that you, you know, you've been with a long time. They're very immature though, very childish person, but you have a lot of history. You might've known them from childhood. You might've grown up in the same neighborhoods, that kind of thing. And you're like, I have a lot of history with this person. But meanwhile, it's like, it's not about how much time that you put into something. It's about who's willing to invest in you as well. Okay. So with the nine of, of wands reverse, this person is refusing to compromise. They're refusing to come together. So Spirit is saying with the Seven of Pentacles that you can have whatever you want, but you have to be willing to manifest it for yourself. You don't have to settle for this person from your past. You can manifest the, the love that you want, but it's going to require, you know, perseverance, growth, patience, removing yourself. Eight of Cups is at the bottom of the deck. You're going to have to release in order to... To, to this person that's that you have a history with that's refusing to compromise show me this person's feelings what is this person's feelings show me more about this person show me more about this person from uh, from libra's past i got gemini energy the lovers I mean, it's fair to keep trying to show me that you have someone else. You just got to be willing to know that you deserve it. There's somebody with shared values. There's a soulmate here. But it's going to require you to persevere. Okay? Eight of Pentacles is about putting in the work. There's a commitment. You got to commit to it. You have to commit to manifesting someone new. You're going to have to commit to choosing a soulmate. A partnership, someone who shares your values. Because with the tower, at the bottom of the deck, Aries energy, it's like something happened that brought this connection to his knees and it's painful. But it's destroyed. It's not stable. It, it's not like you can't build on this unstable foundation. And spirit is just like you, you, you feel like you feel conflicted with this lover's card, but it's just like that foundation is not stable. This person is not willing to come together to, with you the way that you need them to. Show me this person's feelings towards Libra. Well, this person wants to come to you as somebody who wants to end the conflict, okay? I 
Like this person wants to compromise. They want your forgiveness. They're going to be like, oh, we're soulmates and all of this. But with this page of swords reversed, this is someone who's, who's a hypocrite. Like this person is somebody you still can't trust. This person is someone that's still going to cause problems. And, and they're more concerned about their feelings. But they're going to present themselves as somebody that wants to, you know, end the conflict and come together and make things work. But with this four of cups reverse, spirit is saying that you need to like let go of this person and the stuck energy that you're in because you don't feel fulfilled in this. All right. Look at that. Oh my god, new beginning. There's a new beginning. If you let go, there's a new beginning here. But this person is gonna come back, present themselves as somebody who wants to work things out. All right. Show me more for this person's feelings, please, towards. Libra, yeah, they're in their head right now. They don't like feeling shame. They're, they're overwhelmed with stress, anxiety, and they're just trying to figure out what their next move is, all right? But with the King of Swords reversed at the bottom of the deck, this is premeditated. This is someone who's very selfish. You can't trust this person when they come back around. <sighs> Show me Libra's feelings for this person. This person may be texting you or if, you know, trying to fill you out but you can't trust them with the world reverse and the ten of wands reverse and the three of wands you know you need to let this person go okay you could be connecting with an aries um a leo or sagittarius even a capricorn you're like this person keeps me stuck it's the same cycle over and over again i need to release them with the ten of wands reverse and you want to move forward with confidence, like you just want to be happy because with this Ace of Cups reverse, it's just like you know that this person is not emotionally available. You know that. So like even if they try to come back in, you know that this is a cycle. This is what they do. They're going to come back, try to love bomb me, and then I'm going to be stuck and I don't want that for myself. Okay? So even though you feel conflicted, you know that this person is not right for you. Okay? King of Swords reverse, I got it again. This is someone who's selfish and... <laughs> You know, like you're like, they're so, pre they're so calculated. This person plays mind games. The King of Swords Reverse is about somebody who's manipulating. They play mind games, and you know this about this person, okay? Show me the challenges, please, for Libra in regards to this connection. You can't, with the Queen of Wands Reverse, when I see that card, I feel like, you feel like this person is lying to you. They're stepping out. They're seeing other people. And then I have a king of wands here. Wow, this is this would have been a divine partnership. But your your thing is you want someone who who knows they want you. And they don't want the queen of wands reversed. Like they're sure that they want you. Someone who's loyal. Someone who's a leader. So your challenge is like, you know, to recognize, you know, this is actually this is not really a challenge. You don't trust this person and you feel like they stepped out on you. They betrayed you. And you want somebody who's loyal, okay? And with the Page of Cups, your intuition is telling you that this person is going to try to come in with something because they always do. Just enough to get your attention, not, not to keep it, you know, just like breadcrumbing energy. The Page of Cups, this is... This is cute. This is comforting. A cute message. A cute gift. May show up at your door. May try to seduce you. You know, that kind of shit. But it's not enough. It's just enough to get your attention. To keep you stuck again. Wow. And it's just like, you know that. This person is going to do what they want to do. Come back with a little... Try to breadcrumb me. I want someone who doesn't play games. Look at that. Look what just shot off the Knight of Swords. This person trying to come back and love bomb you. <sighs> Wow. Show me advice. What advice do we have for Libra? Your advice is to see that this is somebody that does this, that does not appreciate you. Okay, this somebody is very manipulative. The magician reverse Gemini energy. This person is very manipulative. Page of Pentacles reverse is someone. This is someone who just doesn't value you. They don't appreciate you. And with the Ace of Swords, you're realizing the truth about that. You're seeing it. You have mental clarity. This person is no good for me. Your advice is to see it for what it is. Okay. With the hidden energy Four Swords, this is someone that will continue to just continue to ghost you. 
all right? They're very self-sabotaging. They come in, they don't get what they want, and they want to leave again, and they want to come back again. Show me more for advice, please. For Libra, King of Pentacles. And yeah, this person is, they're more occupied and interested in something financial than they are emotional. Yeah. Four of Wands reverse. This person left. For some of you, this person left home, like just destroyed the family. Like this person is very manipulative and then they're going to, you know, I'm getting narcissism. Like this person will come back and, you know, make it seem like you were the problem. <sighs> you broke up the family. Yep. Look at that. Judgment reverse. There's a lack of self-awareness. This person is not willing to learn by their behavior. <sighs> they're not willing to see themselves for who they, how they really are. They don't, they don't see a problem, but they can't make up their mind about you either. Wow. What advice do we have? Show me more for advice. Yeah, this person is definitely going to come in quickly, too, because cockiness. Like, they always get what they want. You always take them back. And then you're like, damn, why did I take them back? I knew they was going to do this. But there's a chariot here. If you, oh, you can overcome these the challenges here. If you, this is a test. This person is showing you who they are over and over and over and over again, Libra. But... This is cancer energy that if you stand your ground with this person, that there's you're going to be victorious. Okay, so with the Eight of Cups, you need to abandon this person. You need to walk away. Don't let this, don't look back. It's toxic, devil, Capricorn energy. This person keeps you stuck. This person keeps you feeling like you're weak, like you succumb to whatever they say. They know what to say to, you know, to get you to take them back, to end up back in bed with them. And it's just like, no. You can only go up from the bottom. This is this is rock bottom. You have to say, you have to look at yourself and say, okay, I've had enough of this. This is it. Like there's no recovering. There's no coming back from this. We're never gonna be right. All right. So show me more for the person coming towards who's the person coming towards Libra. Show me should have been more specific because it's showing me the same person this person that has poor personal boundaries coming in with no love um they're playing on your vulnerability with the strength reverse leo energy but look at that there's karma with the will of fortune there's karma to the what they're doing you have a soulmate here. If you close out this cycle with this person that keeps coming back with the same unrequited love, giving you the illusion of relationship, this liar, this player, close this out. You have a, a good, this is also soulmate energy. You have a soulmate coming in when you close out this cycle. Okay? Again, no, this person is going to come in like they sincerely want to work things out. Like, I'm really, I'm, I'm interested in being a better person and things are going to be different. You have to go through this to get to this wheel of fortune, okay? But you have to be able to see this person for who they are, to recognize that this is someone that you can't trust, that got their, you know, they're, they're, they're in everybody else's business. They running around um, with, diff with a feminine energies, but you want somebody who's certain about you. Your challenge is to recognize that because if you really believe and you stand on and stand your ground with this person and close out this cycle, you have a soulmate coming in. Capricorn energy. Show me more, more for this will of fortune. Show me more for this will of fortune, please. This is not going to happen until you recognize that you overgave, you keep, you stop overgiving to this person. Like completely pull back your energy of this person that keeps ghosting you. This person that keeps sabotaging this connection. This person that keeps making you feel like defeated. Well, there's a justice here. You're going to get what you deserve, but you have to let go of this person and see that. Stop giving to them. Because with the will of fortune, you're going to get exactly what it is that you deserve. This is someone who's going to be honest and truthful with you. 
this situation is a life lesson. This person that you're letting go of, it's a lesson. Everything happens for a reason. So, oh, don't look at this like, why is this happening to me? Look at this like, what am I learning from this? You're learning from this to allow somebody to value you, Libra. Let people show up for you and, and, and prove to you that they deserve you. Stop. You, it's like you try to love this person into loving you, and that never works. And that's the lesson there. Once the lesson is learned, then you're going to get your soulmate. Okay? With the death reverse at the bottom of the deck, it's just this, there's a resistance here to the change because you continue to give to this person. Even though you know, like I pulled your feelings, you know this person is no good for you. So you have to reach your breaking point so that this, this new person can come in. Okay? Because as far as I feel, the, the worst already happened. Like, you're, you're on the fence about something that you need to release. Point blank period. Completely release. Purge yourself. Do a cord cutting ceremony. Whatever it takes. Cord cutting ceremonies. You can Google that. But you need to um, release this person. Have faith. You know, sit with this. Process it. Release it. Because you can manifest what you, whatever it is that you want, but you have to, you can't believe it if it's being crowned by the need for you to take a look at what's really happening here and be honest about what's going on here. Because you saw, I asked for your feelings. You know this person is no good, okay? So you, now you have to really sit with these feelings that you still have, process them, and release them, and release this person. By doing so, you got to confront this, okay? Because confronting this is, is like your darkest fears, like... You're afraid to really to confront this once and for all because you're like, this may really be over, over, over. Your darkest fear is no longer being with this person, you feel, being alone. But it's like, no, you have to confront this because there's love for you. But it's going to come in divinely, but it's going to require you to, to take action, to move, to move towards it and to release this person. All right? So before I close out this reading, Libra... I'm going to pull some romance angel cards. Show me the messages that Libra needs to see. It's like you don't even like things out of balance. You're the Libra. The Libra is the scales. And it's always going to be out of balance with this person because they're not showing up for you the way you showed up for them. And you're going to have that balance with the King of Wands. Your challenge is to see your balance is connected to that King of Wands. This is someone who is loyal. This is someone who's, who knows what they want, that, you know. They don't play no games. Thoughts become things. You have to know and feel and, and really make up your mind and say, this is what I want. Be very clear about what you want. See yourselves already having it. And watch how the universe takes over. But if you're sitting there just in your head about something that you need to release, then how do you expect something new to come in? Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. I just was just saying that. I was just saying that, Libra. This is about pulling back your love and pouring into yourself. That makes you more attractive. Playfulness. To, re to recapture a romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Yes, you deserve to be happy and out there and feeling good about yourself. Confidence is everything. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Yes. Faith. Faith will bring this new person in. You got to believe that you deserve it. Wow. New love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Look at that. This person is waiting on you. This person is waiting on you. There's new love. And for some of you, you met this person already. And you're like, damn, that's the person. I know this is the person. Because this person, you know this person is interested in you. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support of others. Even if that means just getting you out to go out for the night. Or just going to their house. And just sitting with them. And just, you know, laughing and having a good time. And just helping you get back to being, you know, feeling like yourself. Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost self to each other, your bond deepens. With this new person... It's going to require transparency because this person is going to be open and honest to, with you. They're emotionally safe, but it's going to require you to do the same. You cannot do that until you decide to sit with the situation, process it, and release it. It's going to require healing for you to get to a place where you want to be vulnerable with someone again. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Okay? For some of you, I said there's a new love. Someone has already... This is a very direct message, okay? Some of you are already in a new connection. A new person has already has stirred your romantic 
feelings. And you're guarded from this person because you have this other person in your energy and you need to release them. So there's a different energy here that I'm getting a downloaded message. Okay, you can't see these because the damn reflection on this camera. But there's some of you have a new love. It's very new. But you're you're guarded. And spirit is like, give this relationship a chance. Work on this partnership. <laughs> wow. That doesn't resonate with everyone because everyone is not connected to their person yet. Again, for like 80% of you, I'm getting that this person is going to come in once you release this person. And for the, for the 20%, it's like this love. You're going to feel the completion, the fulfillment of this new love that you're already in a connection with once you let go of this person from your past. Deception. Someone is wearing a false self-mask in this relationship. That's that person that's still holding on to you. You cannot trust them. And you, it needs, like, you need to understand that you can never trust this person, that person that you're still connecting with. They don't serve a purpose in your life. It's time for you to stand up for yourself, confront this situation, and and let this person go. Even if it scares you, let them go because they're not the person for you. They're no good, okay? It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive all the highest energy of all. That's for those of you, again, who are ready with this new love. Work on this partnership with this new person. It is safe for you to love this person. You need to release this toxic, disloyal, deceptive person that you're still holding on to. I can't stress that enough. All right? So those are the messages for you, Libra. Um, if the reading resonated, be sure to tap that like button. If you're interested in a personal reading, click on the link in the description box below. I wish you this healing new love. I wish you light. And I'll see you again Actually, I actually wish you healing love for yourself, healing self-love for yourself first. And then I wish you this healing new love, light, love and light. And I'll see you again on the next one. Bye.